Okay, in this video, we're gonna cover how to assemble your chin strap for your night vision head harness. Some of you may have received the chin strap disassembled as shown. It's pretty simple to put it together. All you're gonna do is you're going to take this side with the webbing. You're going to face the webbing up. You see how the stitching is on this side? Point it up and you're going to take this sternum strap buckle, slide it from underneath down through. Then you're gonna go through this tri-glide. Pull it all the way down so you got about, I don't know, two to three inches. Um, it's, this is the, the adjustable part, so it's gonna depend on how big your head is. Um, then you're going to take the male buckle and you're going to, you wanna make sure that this side is facing down. So you've got these uh, little teeth here that bite against the webbing. You're gonna come up and through that second hole and then back down this one. So when it pulls tight, you've got that, uh, that tension right there, so it's not gonna move. Up to you, but you can then pull it all the way up to the tri-glide and then feed the excess through the tri-glide. If you have a really big head, um, you might not be able to do this. Most average size heads, this works perfect. And so you're going to slide that excess webbing through and that is it. Now, to attach these two, you can put it through while your head harness is assembled. I prefer to string these through as I'm assembling the head harness, um, but these little slots here do allow you to kind of pull out some slack, feed them through, hook them in, and attach the chin strap. It's another preference of mine that if you're going to wear this and you're going to dangle one side, one side's obviously longer than the other. I'm a right-handed shooter, so I like this excess part away from my weapon. So it's gonna ride on the left side of my face. Hope that makes sense. Um, if, it was, if I was a right-handed shooter and I wore it like this, this would be getting, you know, hitting my rifle and everything. So I like to, uh, depending on if you're right-handed or left-handed, the excess goes on the side of your non-dominant hand. So I hope that makes sense. Again, that's how you assemble the chin strap for the night vision head harness.